we're going to continue on using synthetic division uh, to divide this big polynomial up here, this negative 20x cubed thing, by uh, the term 4x minus 3. Now, before we jump into this, I want you to recognize that this is not what we started doing with synthetic division because there's something different here. Remember how we've always written uh, these things as x minus a on the bottom of a fraction, right? Is x minus a a factor? What's the remainder when you divide by x minus a and so on? We never talked about some number like 4x minus a. So this is different than what we've done in the past. And that's going to cause some difficulties that we have to deal with here. So if you are at all uncomfortable with synthetic division, you don't feel like you're um, you're well practiced in it yet, maybe go back and just refresh yourself on how simpler versions of this work when you don't have a 4 right there, okay? Because this is going to get a little more complicated. Okay, now, uh, you start off the same way. Um, we're going to try to find the x-intercept, or the root, of the divisor. So we say 4x minus 3 equals 0. That means 4x equals 3. And here's the first change. That means x equals 3 quarters. So we're actually putting a fraction over here. All the math is still going to work the same, it's just that now we have a fraction, so it's a little more complicated in that sense. But since everyone's good with fractions, it should not be a concern. I'm going to take the coefficients of my polynomial from the top of the fraction and bring those down. This part works just like before. Negative 16 and 11. Okay, now I have the coefficients written in there, and we're going to go through the synthetic procedure just as normal. It's more complicated because you have a fraction there, but other than that, all the rules work the same. So negative 20 comes down times 3 quarters makes negative 16. Uh, whoops, excuse me, that's negative 15. Add these up, you get 0, times 3 quarters is 0. Add these up, you get negative 16, times 3 quarters, uh, negative 12. Add them up, you get negative 1. Okay, now, this is not the final answer. Um, we have to deal with this factor of 4. We haven't really dealt with it yet, other than getting the x-intercept, but we still have to address that point. Here's the problem. This is a math hack, okay? This whole synthetic division thing is just a math hack. And what the synthetic division thinks we just did was the following. It thinks we divided this polynomial that I'm writing here by x minus 3 quarters. That's what it thinks we did because I have 3 quarters right here. It has no idea that the factor on the bottom was actually 4x minus 3 four times bigger than x minus three-fourths. So that factor of four is how far off our answer is going to be because, um, well, we didn't divide it by the right number. We divided it by something that was four times smaller. So we're going to have to adjust these final coefficients by dividing them all by four. That will make it right in a sense. So when you look at the coefficient, the, the quotients, it's going to be negative five x squared, not negative 20x squared. There's still a 0 for x, and then when you get to the constant term, it's negative 4 instead of uh, negative 16. Okay? Now, the remainder is a little bit different. Uh, the remainder just is what it is. You don't have to divide it by 4. And I think we went over that in class, about why, why we treat the remainder differently than the, uh, the coefficients of the quotient. But this is what you have to remember when you're dealing with uh, a number in front of the x that's not 1. 